This is a brief description of the surgical technique for an L5-S1 frame anatomy. Basically, the nerve root exits the frame and just inferior to the pedicle. The lamino frame anatomy decompression uh, is um, known by everyone. In your mind's eye, you have to know where the disc space is before you start out where the typical disc herniation is. You thin the inferior medial portion of the lamina first with a burr and then finishing it with a kerosene punch. Basically, if you can find the S1 nerve root and then track it rostral and look lateral, you should be able to find the L5 nerve root. Here's a typical case at L5 S1, there's some retulous thesis. What's important is to always remember that it's the sacral facet at L5 S1, which is compressing the nerve root, not the pars, unless you have a pars fracture where the osteophyte from the pars or the pars healing or off the pedicle can co compress the nerve root. But typically it's the S1 portion of the facet. Just the case of S1, uh, L5, S1 for animal stenosis. Here's the S1 nerve root on the opposite side. And the offending mechanism is the sacral portion of the uh, facet joint at L5, S1. And one must also always remember that the facet is made up of bone, but also of capsular tissue and synovial tissue, which may be compressing the nerve root in the frame. And I think it's important to create a working window by thinning the a lateral aspect of the posterior spinous process, basically making a bigger window so you can work through. It's important to angle your garrison just right to decompress the frame. And so you may have to remove some of the posterior spinous process and to get the right angle, you may have to remove more of the posterior spinous process, maybe all of it, but keeping the lamina on the contralateral side intact, you need the right angle. So basically uh, the technique is thinning the inferior aspect of the lamina of L5, superior aspect of the sacrum, and the lamina from anatomy portion, and then removing it, finding the dura. And then the technique is just keep going lateral by thinning, removing, thinning, and then removing until you find the S1 nerve root. If you find the S1 nerve root, you can find the medial wall of the S1 pedicle, so you kind of know where you are. And then you start working superiorly. Uh, you also, also have to keep in mind not to excessively thin the facet and the pars to avoid fracture of the facet and the pars and you thin going rostral and keep palpating and feeling the disc space so you know where you are keep going rostral at some point you have to go to the opposite side of the table keep uh, thinning rostral and going lateral and then hopefully you can find the axilla of the l5 nerve root where it exits you should be able to see the l5 nerve root it has the same consistency of the of the dura at some point, you have to go to the opposite side of the table to remove the superior portion of the sacral facet. You don't want to remove all of it, but enough so that the nerve root has plenty of room. Thanks.